Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Christelle Martinet here again and I'm um, here for a reading for the month of July for all different signs individually and a peek into the next six month period. I just wanted to explain how I was going to do that. For the month of July, I think it was in one of my, I think it was the solstice reading I mentioned, Michelangelo, I was talking about the Vera Sibila and I said, in front of his statue, he said, speak, why don't you speak? Well, I have the um, Michelangelo tarot and um, I'm going to use that for the month of July. Lovely deck, just a lovely deck. You'll see that uh, as, and I'll show you the cards when I read them. And um, then I'll be using, and of course, the Vera Sibila. What well, would life be without them? Upside down, of course. <laughs> now, um, I also have this, I, uh, the way I do a mini uh, tableau, grand tableau, mini grand tableau, with using the Lenormand cards. This is the deck that I'm going to be using. It's called the Fairy Tale Lenormand deck. And this was purchased from a colleague of mine at um, the Secrets of the Universe, sorry, Secrets of the Universe dot shop. And it's a lovely deck. It comes with a beautiful booklet. It's a huge booklet, actually, in a tin. And uh, they're very lovely cards, as you can see, and I'll show you them. How am I going to do that? Well, for those of you who read the Lenormand cards, you know that there's 36 cards, and every position has a number, and every number means something. Every card means something. And when you mix the cards and put them out, it has a specific meaning when it falls on what we call that house. In the, in the uh, mini grand tableau, I cut out a different, um, I, I cut out four by four. So I take the inner circle of the grand tableau where there are uh, uh, houses, houses ranging from the eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 26, 27, 28, 29. This is just for those who read the, that um, deck and just to give you an idea. Now, every house has a meaning, for example, there is a house that speaks of surprises, and then a, a Norman card will be placed on top and it will have a meaning. And of course, there are four by four, and every row in every direction has a, a different meaning for me time-wise. So we'll be talking about obstacles, we'll be talking about decisions to be made, what your public life will be about, your work, your livelihood, endings, beginnings, surprises, and definite endings, uh, communication, home life, nuis nuisances, problems, decisions that are must be made, um, the female influences, male influences, matters of communication, not only communication, and something hidden. More or less, um, this is what we'll be dealing with. And, uh, of course, in the uh, six months. Now, before I go any further, let me finish. <laughs> and just by saying thank you for being here, welcome new subscribers, and thank you to my old subscribers. Let's go into the reading. Hello, Capricorn. Hi, how are you? I hope you're feeling well. I have here now the um, Michelangelo cards for the month of July. Let's take a look at what's in store for you for the month of July as I turn on this candle that burnt out before. Let's see if it's on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Now, why is everything so dark? Why is everything so dark? Let's see if I can lighten things up. There. Let's see if that comes out. All right. What's in store for Capricorn for the month of July? What's in store for you, Capricorn, for the month of July? What's in store for you for the month of July? Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Let me show you the cards first. There's some interesting things here going on in the month of July. Seems like this is a turning point for you. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Diamond spread here. And this is the Five of... Why is this light not... Oh, okay. This is the Five of Cups. This is the King of Cups. Oh, this is the King of Cups. And this is... 
the world card over to the left across the center now in the middle of the focus is the eight of swords then I have the uh, the, the, the the temperance card sorry the judgment card the justice what am I saying the justice card the justice card then I have this eight of cups eight of cups look at that and you can see you know, that they are both pushing away the eight of swords the eight of cups you know they're not having it let's see then I've got this four of wands and the last outgoing card is the page of wands lady lady man man gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen here um, Capricorn friends I see that you are giving up on certain things you're giving up on uh, one uh, your notion of uh, the person of your heart it seems that the month of July is putting you on hold you're putting that person on hold you're even putting the notion of a relationship on hold it seems because um, the month sees you more involved with with trying to make money trying to have a bit more stability and many of you can uh, Capricorn people out there Capricorn friends out there I think many of you are going to actually change jobs moving away from what you have been doing so far and of course you know the uh, world card here is, is quite telling and the world card tells me that there are many of you who are going to go back to what you used to do you know if you were in the clothing industry you're going to go back to the clothing industry if you were um, working in a, a, a assembly line or something like you're going to go back if you you know if you were an engineer and you used to be a farmer you want to go back to being a farmer it seems like this because I see I see being fed up I'm I'm not going to kowtow or bow down to anyone anymore I'm sick of you know um, being a yes man or woman I just want to have peace of mind and do it my way you know and um, it seems that you're coming to terms with the idea um, there's a shift in perspective okay there's a shift in perspective now let me see if I can explain this um, many of you have thought for many years that there would would be success in partnering up with a certain kind of person and you're abandoning that idea or that's that was that was an example many of you thought that if I um, if I lived a, a, a life of solitude then I would be wiser well you're not having that anymore you're wanting to put yourself out there into the social realm and so you're changing your perspective in terms of what a partner means to you those of you who wanted to have a, a partnership you know me and that other person that's all you're going to be more social and and be more outgoing um, also I see however that that change in perspective is going to bring you much happiness and it's actually going to be a, a welcome change in your social life I'm going to take the the Virasibila here over this eight of swords the focus card right in the middle to see what what it is all about well yeah well look at this I've got these um, artista, the, the, the artist, the messenger, messaggero, and the falsita, the lies. I'm seeing that um, you're not having it anymore with, uh, you've, you're fed up. You know, this is being fed up with what, I, it could even be a person uh, and the communication with that person, but you're fed up with waiting even to have some communication from that person. You're fed up with having to communicate with that person. You're fed up with the notion that there needs to be all this communication. Why don't we get on with the show? Okay, this is what that, and let me take another, um, clarify another uh, card here, and this is the um, the page of, of wands here that I'd like to look at. Yes, all right. Now, the Delirante, the Delirious, people melancholy malinconia and alegria and I've got here that generally there is some ah uh, you're you're wanting to be in like I said get out there and you are you're putting yourself out there there's a side of you however 
that just isn't, you know, you don't have your heart in it. And actually, you're, the jury is still out, as they say in English. You're not exactly sure whether you want to do that or you don't want to do that. Because many of you would be very happy just tilling the garden, being in the garden, getting, you know, using your green thumb. Many of you would just really like to put on their high heels and, you know, uh, just get out your best suit and go out and, you know, kill, you know, get killed in the sense of knock them dead, you know. But this is something that you have to come to terms with, finding a balance between your personal and your, your private and your public life. And that seems life. And this seems that, that what is be go going to be going on your mind in the month of July. I hope this was of help, Capricorn. Let me take now the... Um, the Norman cards, the fairy tale the Normans, and I previously shuffled these. I'll give it another shuffle and lay them out in the mini gram tableau that I have um, put together that I concocted for things like this that I love. I adore it that this type of spread. Well, interesting stuff here. Okay, I mentioned in the beginning, maybe I didn't, but when the card that, uh, these are numbered cards, they have houses. And when the card uh, falls into its house, it's very, very relevant. And you have two cards that have fallen into its house, and I'll tell you what they're all about. Okay, so the first card out is the 24, the heart. Then we have the mountain, the cross, The letter, the mice, the lilies, the crossroads, the fox, the garden, the child, the anchor, the house, the dog, the stork, the man, the gentleman. All right, so this is the prince because in this deck there are two gentlemen and two ladies. There is a princess and a peasant, and then there is the gentleman, who is the prince, and the peasant. Okay, and then we have the snake, the outgoing card. Now, the gentleman fell in the gentleman's house, and the garden fell into the garden's house, and I'll tell you how that, that plays out. First of all, I'm seeing that in the month of, of starting from, right from the month of July, actually, you're having a um, difficult time rationalizing in your mind what Again, I, it just mirrors what I just talked about in the month of July. What couples mean to you? What, is, what do I want from another person? I mean, you're, you're going to change your perspective in that sense. And it's going to be a difficult move for you because you have difficulty leaving go certain well-based, rooted ideas. But you will put an end to that, and that will completely change. And you're going to start communicating with other people in that sense. You're going to let other people know that you're available. You're a party girl or a boy. You're, you know, you want to have fun now. It's going to change, or vice versa. You're no longer on the market. You want to have a relationship. So that changes depending on what was on your mind previously. And it will be difficult. It will be difficult for you. I'm not going to hide that. And it will be difficult to, uh, for you, especially around uh, August, uh, September, because you have a sense of maturity. And it, you feel that uh, you have come at a crossroads and you're going to make a decision. You want to make a decision concerning your livelihood. It's not only your relationship, but it has to do with, it seems like it's overlapping a little bit. For example... Say your partner uh, lives in another place and you want, to, you, you, you want to go live with that person. 
and um, you have an activity, but then you're thinking, well, maybe I could change the activity that I have, and it, you're at a crossroads because you're t thinking of, of how am I going to change my job? What am I going to do? You know, remember, we saw in, in July that you're going to go back to doing something else. But this is a point of maturity. You're not going to take the decision on the drop of a hat, the drop of a hat. It's going to be very, very well pondered. Well, the two cards that, uh, the, 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 the garden here, it's, um, I see you working in public. It has to do with your livelihood. And it's a new position compared to what you're doing, you were doing previously to the six months. But it's going to be in a, let's say, if you uh, own your own shop. Uh, let's see, if you own your own shop. Let me lower the, the voice here. If you own your own shop, well, you're going to, you prefer live working in a large department store. Or if, if you um, had uh, to do with a uh, real estate, if you were a real estate agent, well, you're going to own the agency. You know, you're going to go big, you're going to go public, you're going to be part of an association of, of uh, um, literary agents, of, of uh, in real estate agents. There is a public element. You're coming out from behind the scenes. You know, there's a, a, a very public element, and this happened even to the Aries as well. I saw the Aries had the the um, uh, the, the garden in the pub in the same garden house, and it was played out differently because of the surrounding cards, of course, because this marks a new opportunity for you, a new beginning for you. And again, I'm resp reminded here of work. It has to do with work and. Many of you, the overlapping decisions are going to concern your job and your home. Maybe you have to change places because the job you want is in a ne the, the next state. It's a little too far. And so you're seriously going to think of uprooting, you know. Now, um, there are uh, many of you, okay, and I'm seeing, um, let's say, 35%, which is quite a few, who are uh, faithful to a dream, faithful to a person, faithful to someone from your past, but faithful to a fault. And I'm saying to a fault because it's going to cause you difficulty. And that uh, fidelity that you have toward that person is actually going to make you want to move. And there are many of you who uh, uh, that fidelity is actually going to make you want to have a family with that person, you know, or accept their family when you get together. And that's going, and, and the male is prominent, the gentleman here figures prominently. You know, you're really going to start thinking of picking up and going to live in another place because that person is in another place. And um, the, uh, the house that concerns um, something, yeah, let me hold on a minute because I'm, I was uh, stuck on with the uh, public the public area and the uh, garden that I completely neglected the idea of obstacles and the obstacles of course are concerned with the issue of on the one hand being part of that person's family and the children and on the other hand starting anew those are the, going to be the obstacles for the next six months and the decisions are going to concern your work as I mentioned and the issues are going to involve the house. Where am I going to move? That's particularly going to be difficult. Um, now, fidelity, we spoke about fidelity, and fidelity is something um, that is going to have a hidden value for you because you don't, there, there are many uh, Capricorn, um, Capricorns out there that have had past relationships with other people and they're still on your mind, okay? They still are on your mind. Right when you're making the decision to change your life, move up, up, change your job, move your home, you know, um, there is this, this moment of, well, I did really love that person. Do I still love that person? You're going to ask yourself that. It's just a fleeting moment, though. I don't see that that's going to condition your choices. And matters of communication will be all around either having children or, and this is the most part, getting up and moving. And you're going to have to um, uh, talk to your, your children about that. If you're a parent, you're going to have to talk to other friends and, and, and outer family members that you're going to move. So it's, it's a big deal. This is a big deal, you know. Um, the, the male influences, you will be influenced by 
a male. You will be definitely influenced by a male because you're going to be moving uh, with that person or to that person. Well, those of you who don't have um, a partner, who don't have a male partner, I see the uh, animus influence as being linked to your work, the way you earn your living. And also the female influence, the animus, the anima I have here is um, something to do with radical changes, with transformative energy. Um, how do I tell my family that I want to do this? You know, what will be the best way to? It's how to go about accepting and embracing change. Now, let me go through the endings and beginnings. Um, I have already mentioned this, but you are going to close the door on, on a past love. And you're going to start again. And this is going to happen in the next six months. The surprises concern the difficulties that you're going to have to face. You're going to be challenged in the next six months. And you're not expecting that. And you're not, you can't foresee that. You can't foresee that. The actual endings will be over. When you make the decisions, you're not going back in the next six months. This is definitely, you're putting a, a period there, you're turning the page, closing the book, and it's over. Like I mentioned, communication, um, the area of verbal communication is, is, is going to be of importance to you. You're going to get on the phone, talk to your child, your, your child, listen to me, your children, your daughter, your husband, your, uh, your ex, your, your, you know, you're going to talk to old lovers and talk to them instead of, you know, just writing. It's going to be prominent in the next six months. You're going to definitely, that's part of closing and then opening again. Um, the area of work, that's probably the area, and it's not probably, I do see it, is the area that is going to be hurting you the most because you don't want to give up who you are, what you represent, and how you make your money, and what that means for you, Capricorn. That is a very fundamental issue, and that's going to be a challenge. Your sense of security, your sense of, of security comes to you because of your maturity. The decision that you're going to have to make, going to have to, I see you making a decision. I don't see any imposition. It's not that you're going to have to, but I see that as, as necessary is going to be made with a mature mind. And the decisions are those you will be guided Every turn of the way, when you're facing it, when you come to a crossroads, come up to a wall, and you have to make a decision, then go over that wall, that's when you know that you are, your guides are with you the most. They're, it's inevitable, Capricorn. I see this as being inevitable, this type of change. And the idea of home, wanting to stay where you are, has concerned your work. And the biggest um, point of, of dissension, the difficulty, is concerns the idea of how do I change? What do I want to do? The changing jobs, okay? Um, nuisances, again, they involve leaving the home because of um, the change of, of, of who you are. You're, you are defined by your activity, it seems, and you don't want to give that up. But you do want to embrace change, and you do want to embrace that love that is coming into your life, or that has already come into your life. It's going to be a welcome change. But you're going to have to make the decision. But I see that you're ready for it, Capricorn. I do hope that this uh, six-month forecast and the July reading is of help, were of help to you. Namaste. And until we read together again, have a great July. Bye-bye, Capricorn.